Hi guys, so I'll do our daily card and energy healing. So just tuning in, calling on God, angels, source, universe, the highest beings of infinite love, infinite light. Your angels and guides. This is good, my angels and guides. <laughs> Alright. So I'm just tuning in and seeing where this healing is going already. I've seen lots of love coming through, so it's really nice, feels nice. And choosing one card, getting one card, okay. One card. Is this a card? This is a card. Okay, so the card says balance. Take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, set boundaries with your work. Okay. So I'm just going to tune in and see where we're going with this. Mm -hmm. The first thing coming up is something to do with skipping steps. It's like, they're just showing me you and like you're trying to hop over things. <laughs> it's like avoiding certain things you don't want to do. I'm going to just tune in more and see where we're going with this. So you're jumping over, trying to avoid things. So what are you trying to avoid? That's the question. What are you trying to avoid? Hmm. Some sort of emotion? Yes. Sadness? Yes. <laughs> okay. So there's a part of you that's uh, trying to avoid your feelings, mainly uh, the biggest part is sadness. So let's see why you're trying to avoid this. It's a really deep wound. Okay, I see why you're trying to avoid it. It's a really deep wound. I'm going to tune in more into the wound and uh, see how deep it is and how deep we're going to go. It's a, much, it's a lot of layers, so I'm just going to keep tuning in more. Bringing in the love and the light. Like they're showing me the love and the light. I'm just coming through into your energy and bringing in the love and the light and the butterflies, okay? We're gonna open this part up. I mean, open the wound like it's <laughs> making it more painful, but we're gonna heal this wound together. Okay, so I'm feeling it has to do with when you were a child, this lifetime. Uh, it's this lifetime, but it stems from other lifetimes as well. But, um,. I'm getting if we heal this part in this lifetime, it's going to help heal up many other lines, energetic lines within your soul. So this is going to be good. Oh, it hurts. Okay, I feel it really hurting more in the sacral area. The more I tune in, it's in the sacral chakra. Um, sadness. Feeling really sad. I've seen you as a child, it kind of looks kind of dark around you. Oh, it's very sad. Okay, hold on. Tune in more. And this is related to what it says on here. Taking time to relax, indulge a little less or more. And setting boundaries. Okay, so it has to do with believing in yourself, believing that you're worthy and deserving. Uh, it feels a lot to do with your self-worth. So somewhere along the line, as a child, it's part of you stop believing that you're worthy and deserving of love. Um, I'm just seeing this part of you sitting kind of in a corner and kind of hunched over as a child. Looks like the ch a child. And just like punishing themselves. Like nobody pu is punishing this child. It's an like empty place. The child is punishing themselves. This is what I'm feeling. And I'm going to talk to this part of you, the child, and ask, like, why? Why are you sitting here in the dark by yourself? And the part of you says, I don't deserve to be happy. I don't deserve to be loved. I am not a good person. I'm a bad... It's like I'm a bad, I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad girl. Like, I'm a bad child. I don't deserve love. And this feels like a stabbing, too. Like, someone's just stabbing in the gut area, sacred area, like a knife, like just stabbing over and over and it's it's just like when we believe something or we take on this belief so strongly, it feels like we're being stabbed, especially when it's not true, right? Because of course that's not true. You are worthy and deserving of love. You're an infinite being of 
you're a child of God, so of course that's not true. So when you are um, buying into this belief and it's been going on for a while, it does feel like something stabbing you in the gut. It's like a lie, and it's just like eating away at your soul, kind of like feeling. Oh, and the more I feel it, it's like acid. Like now, if I tune in more of the wound area. It's like a child and then next to the child is a wound and the wound is starting to get like uh, infected like it's like acid is coming up i know it's a kind of a gruesome picture but it's like it's like acid and like bacteria and like pus and guts and worms are coming out of this wound that's this wound of i am not worthy and deserving it's very painful so i'm just gonna see what we're gonna do next yeah, I don't deserve love. I'm not worthy. I'm a f loser. Basically, I'm a freaking loser. That's what's coming through really strongly. Oh, it's very angry. And now it's turning to like a lot of anger. <coughs> it's making me <coughs> cough. A lot of stuff coming up. <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going really deep. So I'm going to start sending some love. I'm guided to start sending some love and to see what's going to happen when we bring in a different energy and a different belief system into this area, into your inner child. Let's see what happens when we bring in this nice, happy sunshine program. Because <laughs> this is what I'm seeing, like literally the photo, like sunlight is coming down. So the sun wants to hit this part of you that's in the dark. <clears throat> Okay, and I'm just going to see what happens. She, he, you, as a child, is... Hands are like this, like just like covering their heads. It's, let's not see all this light coming through. The light's coming through and it's just refusing to look around. And I'm just going to gently send love to the child and tell the child to look around and see all this love that's around you. You're not alone and you don't, you don't deserve to be punished. You didn't do anything wrong. You're a child, you're innocent, you're an innocent child. You should be outside having fun and playing and enjoying life. And let's see what happens. Oh, energy's already moving because it's like the child is, <laughs> it's part of you is really smart. I mean, children are super smart, right? And you are super smart as a child. So this awareness is already like sinking in like very quickly, like instant. It's like, whoa. And the energy's already flowing so much better in the sacral area, I'm feeling. And child is getting up, child's looking around and seeing all this love and there's like a beautiful scenery now. It's like it turned into like a park. It looks like a park because there's grass, there's trees, the sunlight's coming down, super bright and shiny. The flowers are singing, like the flowers are singing. All of a sudden the flowers popped up and they're singing, they're so happy. So it's like transforming this whole area, the sacral area back into like this divine safe place. That This is like the divine center, right? This is like... This is your sacred center. Uh, so it's transforming back into this like beautiful space, like a heavenly space, happy space. Um, and now the child is looking at the wound. The wound is still there. Everything's bright. Everything's happy, shiny. And then the, the, the wound is still there with the pus and the guts coming out. And it's next to the child. So the child's standing up now looking at it. And the child's staring at it and seeing what, what you're going to do next or what the child is going to do next. <laughs> it's cute because now the child is sending love to this wound. It's like literally holding holding their arms out, like both hands. And there's just literally like, like sunlight, laser beams of sunlight. It's so powerful. This part of you is so powerful. This, this divine child part of you is just like healing yourself, your wound, this wound that was created by this belief that you're not worthy but now that you as this child has awareness that you are worthy and deserving of love and now this part of you is back in their power it is literally healing this wound by their hands and they're channeling, channeling the beautiful love and light of god of source through the sun like flowing down it's a very powerful and oh it hurts though as they're as the child is healing the wound i've just seen it melting uh oh the guts and the puke. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. It looks, it looks really gross. It looks like a wound that got it really infected and then it just turned green and like it smells and oh it's like rotten. Like oh that's when you know it's been there for a while because it's now it's like rotting. So <laughs> I 
really send love to this area. Oh man. And it's making me feel really tired. So this is just a part of your energy is just so exhausted because you've been holding on to this for so long. It's like a virus that was in your system and now it's being healed and released and your inner child is super powerful, sending love and healing this part and seeing that it being it's being healed. It's really pretty, it's very nice. Okay. Transforming this wound back into love. Oh, it's nice. It's soothing the pain. If you're feeling some pain, just breathe and allow. So you don't have to no longer avoid this wound inside of you, right? Because remember before I was seeing like the vision of you like hopping and hopping. You're like, I'm just going to avoid this wound over here and just pretend like everything's okay. But then we're like, no got you to sit down and feel it, right? You got you to feel it and we brought it up to the surface because it's ready to be released. You just have to sit there and hold the space for it, which is what we did. We brought in all the love and the light and held space for this part of you and now we can release and then heal it, right? Together, it's good. <laughs> you don't have to hop around <laughs> and try to avoid things. <laughs> I mean, you can, but that doesn't work for, for, it's like temporary, right? And then eventually, you're like, all right, I have to face it. <laughs> or you can't move forward, right? You can't, can't get to the next level of, if you're still avoiding things within you. Oh, it feels better. Okay. And let's see, it's been healed. Inner child's coming. Inner, so the child is so happy. It's like laughing, like clapping now. The clapping, they're clapping. They're like, I did a great job. I, I healed this part of me. And then now I see you like high-fiving all the, your loved ones and angels. There's like so many, there's so many like ascendant masters and beings. Like it's, it's, in, it's crazy. It's like mind-blowing. There's just like, like these divine gods and goddesses all around you. Because this is, this is how powerful you are. They all came to support you. And they're always here. But this is like, you're like whooshed in for this moment. And they're just like, high-fiving you like great job <laughs> it's like i've seen it so fun okay let's see and now the child is thanking you i've seen the child thanking you like well he's like literally like like sending love from their heart to your heart but they, they are part of you right but they're just acknowledging and they're thanking you for for um for allowing them to have this healing and to have the awareness of their true power and coming back to their self again. So now the child has been integrated back to you and your heart, your soul, and just going to be working t together in cooperation and harmony with all the other beautiful, beautiful parts of you. Be more whole, be, be more be more at peace, be more at one, be more joyful, blissful. This is like a very powerful, 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 very powerful part of you that was... a. Uh, in the dark for some time now it's you're coming back to the light you're gonna feel so much better okay feels good anything else you can do at this time getting no so just tune in see how you're feeling uh, feels a lot better so <laughs> uh, if you'd like to get a session with me one-on-one -on -one session we can explore your energy see what's going on help you to bring more love and light to different things like it can it can be anything if you want to work on twin flame things you want to work on like um allowing more love in your life abundance whatever it is like we can do we can do a lot through energy as you can see so uh, let me know and uh, the question of today is what was your favorite thing to do as a child like as a child what what made you really happy so share in the comments below and i'll see you tomorrow bye